fishyacker.com, the original kayak rigging video series. Hi, it's John Oost from fishyacker.com. Do you practice CPR? Well, we're not talking about uh, CPR as in the life-saving technique, which is really good to know how to do, especially when you're on the water. But CPR, when it was related to fishing, we're talking about catch, photograph, and release. Obviously, for those of us that do kayak fishing tournaments, most of us are very, very familiar with it. We've been doing it probably for the past 15 years or so in kayak fishing tournaments. It's, it's kind of growing uh, more widespread even outside of the kayak fishing community. But even if you're not in a tournament, it's a really good practice to have. And basically, the whole concept revolves around catching the fish taking a photograph of the fish and measuring it and getting those trophy or hero shots and releasing it back to the water so the next person can catch it so the fish can spawn and, and reproduce and help the next generation. Again, the practice is really important, but sometimes there, there are a few times when it may not be the best practice, say if you have an uh, overpopulated fishery or you have a stunted fish growth, things of that nature where it may actually be beneficial to remove and harvest some of the fish. But overall, in a lot of our fisheries, it's really a really good, re responsible practice to have. Again, catch, photo, and release. Obviously, as I mentioned, back over the years, we've been doing it a lot in kayak fishing. And if you're not familiar with CPR, the concept really, instead of having a weigh-in, a physical weigh-in of the fish, we have a photographic weigh-in session at the end of a tournament. Where, in essence, before the tournament starts, before uh, the launch time, Every angler in a tournament is required to have some type of digital photographic device uh, with, say, an SD card, or depending on the way the tournament director runs it, you might be able to allow uh, cell phone photos or cables to download. But in general rule of thumb, the tournament director will have a laptop, you'll have an SD card reader, and you'll simply have everybody at the end of the tournament show those SD cards uh, to the tournament director if their fish could be in contention, and then they just pull those SD cards and they take the photos off of them. And then to know that that fish was actually taken during that event, each competitor prior to the event, as I mentioned, you have to have the, the, the photographic device, but each contestant is usually given a, fish, a fishing photo identifier. It's something that's placed in the photo. It could be a logo or a sticker from one of the tournament event sponsors, a trinket, you name it, any number of things. But that's usually not given out until, say, the captain's meeting the night before the event so that everybody knows that that photo of that fish was taken on that day because you can't always rely on, say, time stamps on the camera. So if fish is caught... Fish is boated, the fish is placed on some type of measuring device, especially in kayak fishing, bump boards, primarily your hog troughs are the most common uh, measuring device because they're kind of cookie cutter, they're standard, everybody, uh, you know, they're, they're easy to compare one to another, whereas some measuring devices can, you know, yeah, they might have slightly different, you know, distances or the way they're printed, or you might not just be, you know, be able to rely on some of them. So, for again, for most of your kayak fishing, we use a bump board, say, such as a, a hog trough. You catch a fish, you place the fish on the hog trough, you use one hand to hold the fish and the identifier in place. You may have a, a camera mount set up or something like that, or use your buddies. <clears throat> and then the photo is simply taken to the fish with the identifier in it. And then you register the fish at the end of the tournament by length and the, cap, the tournament director will then take a photograph, take the photos of the fish to figure out who has the, the largest fish. While CPR is really taking a foothold in the kayak fishing community, there's still room for it to grow outside of kayak fishing. Keep in mind the whole concept of catch, photo, and release is very responsible, very productive, whether you're fishing from a power boat, shore fishing, wade fishing, you name it. It doesn't just have to be in a, a kayak fishing tournament scenario. Uh, I've talked to, to bass tournament uh, competitors and, and tournament directors over the years, and it, it's kind of odd because I've had to explain it to them where, yeah, you can, you can have a weigh-in and not actually weigh the weight of the fish. You can go by length. Uh, it is a very responsible practice. For instance, in the Susquehanna River, there are stretches of the area here in Pennsylvania where there's a closed bass fishery in some places 12 months of the year. So they can't hold tournaments where they have to harvest the fish or pull the fish out of the water and take it to a weigh-in because you can't be in possession of the fish. Well, this may be an option for some of those type of regions where the fish can actually be captured, can be caught. The photo can be taken right there immediately after landing the fish 
fish will be released back into the water and then you can still have a tournament you're simply going by length instead of weight so if you're in an area and you're looking at doing some type of tournament without having to harvest or having to take the fish physically to a weigh-in or you could have tournaments and not even require to have a, a live well on your boat where you can actually you know transport the fish these are really good options for you so again I, I, I encourage everybody to practice CPR, catch, photo, and release. All you really need if you're not in a tournament is a camera and some type of measuring device. You can measure the fish, get your trophy shot, place the fish back in the water. And if you're doing a tournament, it doesn't matter what kind of tournament it is, you can simply, you know, change your, your, your weigh-in pr practices from a weight to a length type of weigh-in and you can do the same thing. You can take the fish, have an identifier in the photograph, you can take a photo of the fish, a fish is immediately released, and then you go by length. Largest fish wins or the largest combined length of the fish during the tournament wins. It's very easy, it's easy to do, it's easy to organize, there's actually a lot less logistics to it. All you really need is a laptop computer and each person have a digital camera of some sort and most everybody does now or they could even take the photos again on a, on a cell phone just have some type of identifier in it so if you're in an area that has some issues with uh, the, the the fish population it may really be a responsible way to do tournaments whether you're in a kayak or not I encourage you to practice catch photograph and release and as always, uh, I ask you please to subscribe to the Fish Yacker YouTube channels and, and like us on Facebook, and we'll catch you on the water. Thanks for watching.